welcome back. Now, if you have a car journey planned for over the midterm break, Mick Crane from Mix Garage joins me with an array of gadgets and accessories. Welcome, Mick, on this beautiful day. Thank you for having me, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's run through some bits and bobs that we need for the car, but let's start up here with the roof bars. Yeah, so... Now, me stupid, I never thought, oh, you just need a roof rack. Wrong. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of cars, I mean, a lot of cars these days, I mean, you have hybrids and all sorts of cars, and yeah. you have lots of BMW 5 Series and everything else, and they've gone hybrid, so the boot space is gone because they're fitting a battery yes. in there yeah. now, right? And the problem is people don't realise that until they're travelling away and they're trying to get all the kids' gear into the car, yeah. and then they're trying to work out how they're going to do that. You have so no they realise very quickly they need a roof box to do that. Okay. But to get a roof box is not as simple as just getting a roof box, right? So we need these bad boys in first. Correct. You need a set of roof bars before you can put anything on okay. the car, right? And the roof bars, the difficulty with roof bars is that they're very, very, um, they're tailored to the car. So it's not oh, as simple okay. either as, as trying to walk into your local store and get a set of roof bars. These so are very one special. size fits all. No, 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 oh, it's right, very okay. tailored. And that's exactly the way you need it. It's tailored because tailored fit, it's safe. It's okay. secure to the car and it just works extremely well. Okay, so what does a set of these normally set you back then? A set of roof bars can be anything from, depending on the type of car you have, if you have lots of estate cars come with their own rails on the car. Yeah, yeah. So a set of roof bars for that would set you back about 90 euros oh, approximately. Right, okay. From 90 euros, literally like anything, you can pay from 90 euros up to about 200 euros. Okay. A set of roof bars for this car in particular would be about 180 euros because okay. they're very, very specific, a different sort of fitting kit. It's not a universal fit for the Okay, car. so we have this sorted then, now we move on to the actual luggage holder itself correct yeah so again the luggage holder is very important right because it, in particular with this uh, the roof box that's up there will actually give us more space than we currently have in the boot of the car okay so it gives us about 500 litres of space and right? I presume there's variations on the theme here oh, in terms of size massive variations in right, terms of yeah. size but more importantly there's variations almost so if you have a, a for example a Ford Fiesta or whatever you're only going to be able to get a smaller box on the sure, car yeah, yeah. so the important thing is really important thing is not to overdo it and not to have a box that's too big for your car okay. because you know you're traveling on motorways and crosswinds yeah. and everything else yeah. but there is one other critical thing lots of people are putting these boxes on typically suv type cars you need to get a double-sided opening roof box because a double-sided opening oh, right. roof box it means you can access it from either, from side, either side because otherwise it's impossible to unless you're about seven foot tall <laughs> you're <laughs> not going to be able there, to get yeah, access yeah. To access to it and again ranges and prices like the roof bars yeah so i mean mm. a roof box will set you back from about anything from about 230 euros right up to you can pay right up to about 600 euros for okay. a roof box okay. but again it depends on size and quality and everything else that you're of looking course for. all right well let's move around to the back of the car then and the bike rack so again variations in sizes shapes etc and, and do we need to be aware of a fitting in terms of the car to the yeah car? so this i mean the, the the best way there's lots of ways to carry your bike rack on the car you can carry a bike rack on the roof beside your roof box you can carry a bike rack on the rear tailgate or you can All carry right, a bike yeah, rack yeah on the tow bar as just as we have here <clears throat> the single best way to carry bike rack is to carry it on the tow bar why because the tow bar is safe it's secure it cannot come off the car and it means then it's also extremely easy to load it yeah, and yeah. unload it yeah, right yeah. and also that bike rack in particular will tilt away from the boot to allow you to get access to the boot okay. so it's really while they're they're an expensive unit they work out at about anything sort of from 300 euros up to about 450 euros for a three bike system but it's really worth the extra. And spend I was just going to say that you can get ones that are designed to carry one, two, or three. Is that the correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. I mean, but if you're getting one of these, I mean, you're going to spend most of the money anyway getting a one bike unit at the you back. You may as well. So you may as well right. increase it to a three bike unit for very little extra uh, extra money, and you're future proofed as and well. And can I ask a stupid question in terms of the bike rack and the roof rack? Can I fit them? Uh, in tip, are they are the idiots proof? In other words. It depends, right? It depends. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you have, again, if we go back to that estate car, for example, that has a raised rail system yeah, already yeah. on there, they're relatively sort of foolproof, right? Okay, yeah. Whereas with this car, lots <clears throat> of people will fit them themselves, yeah. but actually lots of people will call into us in our car rack store yeah. um, to have them fitted for them. I'd and we're very happy to do that. i like damage it or the car or both. Yeah, you know? correct. I mean, some people, I mean, look at if you're used to using a screwdriver, if you yeah. can use a screwdriver to put up a shelf, if you've ever put up a shelf, you that'd, can fit a set of roof bars. That'd be a no then right? for That's me. A no. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's move on to then what we have on the table. Yeah. Let's start with, you have an emergency hammer. Yeah, correct. So the emergency <clears> hammers, so these type of units here, 
here, right, emergency yeah. hammers. They're really, really, I mean, you, we've heard horror stories over the years, particularly with cars, where they needed to get out of them quickly. Yeah, they needed yeah. to cut the seat belt. They needed to break the window. And so they're these from, are very, very from useful. around seven quid. Yeah, they're very, very cheap devices. Okay. Very, very cheap devices. So something that you and I have spoken to about is the jump starter. Yeah. So That's a great piece of kit to have in the car. So this jump starter here is a really, really great unit. So, I mean, especially with cold weather, batteries can die and everything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. And not just that. I mean, sometimes you can be driving and somebody else is stuck. You can use these. And they're very very, very, compared to the size of them many years ago, they're very, very small and lightweight yeah, to have in the I mean, car. that just so goes in the boot. That just goes in the boot, exactly that. It just goes in the boot and it's very, extremely powerful. On top of that, it comes with a light to be able to uh, ah, turn on good, and be right. able to fix up things and everything else. And around 160 quid. Correct, around 160 quid for those Okay. Units. Emergency tyre repair. We've spoken on the show before about keeping an eye on the tyres. If we're Correct. in trouble, what do we need to yeah, have in the car? If we're in trouble, you, what you can <clears> use is a Holtz emergency tyre repair kit. It's very, very useful. Can get you out. So you just literally connect it onto the um, onto the um, the valve of the tire, and you spray that in, and it will just get you out of a hole, right? For you know, and it's a temporary measure, but it can work extraordinarily well. Seven ninety nine. Correct. Again, not a lot of money. Okay, emergency <laughs> breathalyzers. Breathalyzers. Right. They're so they're about seven quid. That's these. Correct. Yeah. So the first thing we always say with that is, I mean, you don't <clears throat> drink and drive under any circumstances, right? But if you want to be sure in the morning, so when you get up and you've had a few drinks the night before, you can take these breathalyzers just to be absolutely sure yeah. that you're you're safe to drive. So it is sort of it's about accountability. It's about about uh, self responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah, yeah, Correct. absolutely. Exactly right. And about seven quid. It's about seven quid. Okay. Exactly right. uh, let's move on then to sort of bits and pieces in terms of spare bulb kits all that kind of stuff correct yeah i mean i mean lots of these things like these spare bulb kits for example it's illegal to drive in france without a spare bulb kit in the car for example what? right yeah absolutely right well, and without a breathalyzer one, you okay. cannot travel in france so if you're Look going abroad you need spare bulb kits in the car so it's very very useful we've often seen you know you're approaching a car and it has one light on for example yeah, and it yeah. really it looks like a motorbike and it's extremely dangerous so it's very very useful to have a spare bulb kit in the car and you have to have that in france you have to have as that well as the breathalyzer as well as the breathalyzer are correct Holy you have man. to have that okay now it, it depends on some cars are easy to change the bulbs <clears throat> others are almost you've got to take off the bumper so the vast majority of cars are relatively easy to change the bulb okay so you have other little bits and pieces jerry cans visibility accessories talk me through some of these so we have yeah. our jump leads obviously. again jump leads very very useful uh, jump leads are really the the cheap version of a jump starter yeah so if you're stuck in the car there's always somebody that's prepared to give you give you a um a jump start perfect okay. and a little tool kit this is this is actually a, it's a it's a puncture repair kit oh, for is bikes it? and things like that so you're carrying bikes in the car one thing people always forget is a a, a bike repair kit you know so just something that's very very useful there fantastic um, and then a high vis vest Again, very useful if you have and a breakdown. And they're really enough. cheap. Yeah. I mean, you know, my, even my kids use them going to school every day. So, I mean, very using nice. these things are really, really important. It just great, makes you visual. Uh, great tips and advice, as always, Mick. Thank you for coming in. Thanks Thank you very much for the Simon. sunshine with you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go back inside to Elaine. Thanks, Simon. Still to come, we're hitting the catwalk for more affordable occasion wear. We're back here in three.